The new E2 Generation Embraer jets have been sky-breaking in the way that they've upgraded regional travel, with new efficiencies and modern technology. But what's the difference between the new, larger E2 jets? In this video, let's compare the E190 and E195 E2. Stay tuned! Before I dive into this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. More great aviation content is on the way, and the easiest way you can support the channel is by pressing that red button down below. 99.3% of you still are not subscribed, so let's see if we can get that number higher by next week. Listen to the end of this video to hear about an exclusive opportunity to get access to our Discord server with shoutouts, giveaways, and more. The new generation Embraer jets have been a success both in Brazil and around the world in large international carriers. The series was delivered to its first customer in 2018, and has been delivered to carriers like KLM, City Hopper, Azul, and more since. The Embraer E2 family is split into three variants, the smaller E175 and then the larger two, the E190 and E195 E2. But why did Embraer make both of these variants and what are the differences in specifications between them? Well, the E195 is larger than the E190, which may seem obvious. Capacity-wise, it can typically carry 120 passengers, while the smaller E2 jets will typically carry 96. This is accomplished by stretching the fuselage a little over 5 meters. The aircraft keeps the same engines, however, using the PW1919G geared turbofan, a derivative of the PW1000G from Pratt & Whitney. The larger jet also has slightly larger fuel tanks, which can carry 190 kilograms more fuel than the E190. In order to carry those larger fuel tanks, the E195 can also carry more overall weight, with a max takeoff weight of 61,500 kilos. While the E195E2 appears to be a larger aircraft with superior specifications compared to the E190, there are several performance-related categories that the E190E2 can easily beat the larger jet. The E190E2 uses the same engine, but is smaller. That means it will have a shorter takeoff length and overall better performance. This is realized with a much shorter 1450 it takes for the E190 to get off the runway. The range of the E190 is also superior. The E190 has 5,280 kilometers of range, while the larger E195 has a smaller 4,920 kilometers of range. The E190, even with smaller fuel tanks, is able to fly further than the E195. This also means as a unit, the E195 will be more fuel efficient with lower trip costs for airlines. But what about the costs? Let's take a look at the list price of these jets. It is important to note that airlines do not buy the aircraft at the list price, but it will be a good reference for us in this comparison. The smaller E190E2 would cost an airline around 52 million US dollars, compared to the larger E195E2's list price of around 60 million. Both aircraft, even at list prices, are some of the most affordable in their class, beating their competitors similar to the A220. But which aircraft is superior, and which makes more sense for an airline to order? 
Well, let's look first at the order books to see which aircraft has been more popular. As of March 2021, the smaller E-190 has 20 orders, with its largest customer being Helvetic Airways from Switzerland. The larger E-195 has proven to be much more popular with 183 orders. Its largest customer is Azul, based in Embraer's country of origin, Brazil. The E-195 E-2 has proven to be much more popular of the two. But why would an airline choose one over the other? Well, the E-195 is a better choice if the airline needs more capacity and space for their route network. And the E-190 makes more sense for airline needing better performance efficiencies or for smaller markets. That may be the reason why Helvetic chose the more performance strong E-190, which would be of course useful for Switzerland's dramatic landscapes. Ultimately, however, for most airlines, the E-195's superior space and individual passenger efficiencies have proven to be its selling point. All of the E-2 variants have proven to be truly next generation, making the aviation industry more modern and sustainable with their superior efficiencies. What do you think? Which of the two larger E-2 jets do you prefer? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. If you're interested in supporting the channel and getting extra perks, earlier access to videos, access to our exclusive Discord community with giveaways and more, check out channel memberships by clicking the join button right next to the subscribe button down below. All new members also get a customized shoutout in a video, so make sure to consider becoming a member. That's it for this video, I'll see you in the next.